The North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, is a trilateral trade agreement between the United States, Canada, and Mexico. It was signed in 1994 and has been in effect ever since. The agreement was created to promote economic growth and job creation in the three countries by removing trade barriers and increasing market access. NAFTA is one of the largest trade agreements in the world, covering a population of over 470 million people and a combined GDP of more than $23 trillion. It has been a major driver of economic growth in North America, with trade between the three countries increasing by more than 280% since the agreement was signed. In this video, we will explore the history of NAFTA, its benefits and drawbacks, and its impact on the North American economy. We will also discuss the recent renegotiation of the agreement and its implications for the future of North American trade. The idea of a North American Free Trade Agreement was first proposed in the 1980s by Canadian Prime Minister Brian Mulroney and Mexican President Carlos Salinas de Gortari. The negotiations for the agreement began in 1990 and were completed in 1993. The agreement was signed by the leaders of the three countries on January 1, 1994. NAFTA was created to eliminate trade barriers between the three countries, including tariffs, quotas and other restrictions. The agreement also included provisions for the protection of intellectual property rights, the establishment of dispute resolution mechanisms, and the promotion of environmental and labour standards. The agreement was controversial from the beginning, with critics arguing that it would lead to job losses in the United States and Canada as companies moved production to Mexico, where labour costs were lower. Supporters of the agreement argued that it would lead to increased economic growth and job creation in all three countries. Despite the controversy, NAFTA was ratified by all three countries and went into effect on January 1, 1994. Since then, it has been credited with increasing trade and investment between the three countries and promoting economic growth in North America. NAFTA has had both benefits and drawbacks for the North American economy. One of the main benefits of the agreement has been increased trade between the three countries. Since NAFTA was signed, trade between the United States Canada, and Mexico has more than tripled, reaching over $1.02 trillion in 2019. NAFTA has also led to increased investment in all three countries as companies take advantage of the expanded market access and low trade barriers. This has led to job creation and economic growth in all three countries. However, NAFTA has also had some drawbacks. One of the main criticisms of the agreement is that it has led to job losses in the United States and Canada as companies move production to Mexico where labour costs are lower. This has had a particularly significant impact on the manufacturing sector in the United States. NAFTA has also been criticised for its environmental and labour standards. Critics argue that the agreement has led to a race to the bottom as companies move production to countries with lower environmental and labour standards in order to cut costs. Despite these criticisms, NAFTA has been a major driver of economic growth in North America. However, the recent renegotiation of the agreement, known as the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, USCA, has addressed some of these concerns and updated the agreement for the modern economy. In 2017, the United States, Canada and Mexico began renegotiating NAFTA with the goal of updating the agreement for the modern economy and addressing some of the concerns that had been raised about the original agreement. The renegotiation process was contentious, with the United States pushing for significant changes to the agreement, including the inclusion of provisions related to intellectual property, digital trade, and the automotive industry. The renegotiated agreement, known as the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement as CAR, was signed by the leaders of the three countries in November 2018 and ratified by all three countries in 2019. The USCA includes several significant changes to the original NAFTA agreement. One of the main changes is the inclusion of new provisions related to the automotive industry, including increased regional content requirements and new labour standards. The ESCO also includes provisions related to intellectual property, digital trade, and the environment. The agreement includes stronger protections for intellectual property rights, new rules related to e-commerce, and provisions related to the protection of the environment and the conservation of natural resources. Overall, the ESCO represents a significant update to the original NAFTA agreement and addresses many of the concerns that had been raised about the agreement. It is expected to promote continued economic growth and job creation in North America. The United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement ESCO represents a significant update to the North American Free Trade Agreement NAFTA and is expected to promote continued economic growth and job creation in North America. However, the future of North American trade is uncertain as the global economy continues to evolve and new challenges arise. One of the main challenges facing North American trade is the rise of protectionism and trade tensions between the United States and other countries. The COVID-19 pandemic has also had a significant impact on North American trade, with disruptions to supply chains and reduced demand for goods and services. 
However, the pandemic has also highlighted the importance of North American trade and cooperation, as the three countries work together to address the economic and public health challenges posed by the pandemic. Looking to the future, it is likely that North American trade will continue to evolve and adapt to new challenges and opportunities. The United States, Canada and Mexico will need to work together to promote economic growth and job creation, while also addressing concerns related to labour standards, environmental protection and other issues. Overall, the North American Free Trade Agreement NAFTA and its successor, the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement as CURT, have been major drivers of economic growth and job creation in North America. While the future of North American trade is uncertain, it is clear that the three countries will continue to work together to promote economic prosperity and cooperation in the years to come.